Dear friends, welcome back to Data Analytics Talks. Hope you are enjoying Informatica Power Center learning series. So far we have seen many in transformations and maybe this is the last transformation in this series. So we will be exploring union transformation. The union transformation, as the name suggests, we are going to union multiple tables into one target table. So we have a transformation called union transformation and we can see it has similar transformation name as union. We have the ports, we have properties and uh, we have the groups. So each group represents each table and uh, we have the group port. So I will explain this with example from my database first, then I will come back to the implementation side. So I'm going to my Oracle database. So part of my router transformation, I had created three tables, right? We have created a sales order details about 10, sales order details about 25, sales order details less than 10. So we have three tables here. So in the union, if you are familiar with the SQL or Oracle, you know uh, the union is going to combine uh, these tables into one result set, right? So if I run select star from sales order details about 10, it's going to give you, give me the details of this table. But if I put select star from sales order details about 10, union select star from sales order details about 25, it's going to give me one result set which is going to combine the results of uh, both queries, both queries. So if I do, if I do union of three tables, it is going to give me the results in one result set. So this is a very common scenario that we always use in our uh, SQL queries, views and integrations. Okay. So in order to upload uh, the combined result, we have created a new table called sales order details all which is empty, but which is having the similar um, structure. All these four tables are having the similar structure only. Okay. So let me go back to my Informatica. I will show you how we can do that. So we have a folder called Union Transformation. We have not added any data sources or targets or mapping set. I will go to this. Uh, here we have the source. Let me add the source. So we have again going to the HR database and uh, let me give the password. So it will open my HR database. In this case, what are the, my sources? We have, uh, we have three sources. We have the sales order details about 10, sales order details about 25, sales order details less than 10. So all three I will add as my source we have three tables as my source and let me go to my target I will go to the target and uh, I will add the target again this all coming from this oracle only um, then I have the seven connect we have the target table it's like a sales order details all so we have both the sources and uh, the target is added to the to the um, informatic power center. So let me go to my mapping. So mapping. Uh, let me add first the sources. We have uh, three sources, right? Let me add all the sources here. Let me add second source. Let me add the third source. Let me arrange these. Let me arrange this one. Let me arrange this one. Let me arrange third one. So we have third and we have one target table. There's only one target table. This is uh, one target table. So as a union, so the output of the result set one, result set two, result set three should go into this single target. So let's add the union transmission. 
this is a union transmission i will expand this okay so let me um let me try over the fields from each of these tables okay a pretty big one so I think I need to expand a bit for uh, visibility okay so we have let me just select all I will try to these so we have added one table. You may click on this union transmission. You can, you can all, always you can rename. This is sales order. Okay, rename it. Ports. Yeah, this is the default uh, port. When I added one table, you know, there is, you can see how this is reflecting here. See, it is created a group and that group has no output ports. But you can see there is one set of um, mappings which is having the output port, but they don't have input ports. Okay, we will see how we will apply this. In coming to properties, so we have the trace level if so if you want to see the details of your logs you know you can go with a verbose initialization verbose data and but normally let's go with a normal leave it everything as default don't worry so we have a group the new group so it, we can say this group we can rename this as sales order details above Let me just uh, get the name of this data set. About 10. This is about 25. This is uh, less than 10. Okay. So let me go to the group. It will give us uh, about, about, about 10. I will create another group also. Let me create a new group that is for this group I am creating for about 25. I can also create one more group which is uh, less than 10. So there are three groups, okay, because three have three data sets. Let me apply this, let me okay. So what changes happen to this union transmission control? So when I added each group, I could see a new new set of um, ports open here, right? So I will uh, drag the second data set to my transformation. Also the third one. So now you are seeing, I have three sources. All three sources I have connected to my union transmission. But notice that none of this group, about 10, about 25, less than 10, none of these having output port. There's only one output port. It is already uh, added as default. Okay, let me just drag this to the target. I can arrange it. I can click on arrange all. So this is arranged properly and when I can arrange iconic looks like this. So what are you, what are you seeing? Like we have order one about 10. This is um, about 25. This is less than 10. 
and we have one uh, these are all um, power uh, power center um, data set and then we have a union transmission and all the results from all three goes into a single target database table okay so that is the range all again so i hope you clear let me save this this is valid this is valid so now we need to create a mapping mapping i'm sorry now we need to create a workflow so let's go to the workflow manager the workflow manager let's create a new workflow task create let's create a, a workflow sales order union fit we have one mapping okay it's done okay let me create a workflow this is workflow i change the workflow union uh, sales order order okay now we have the workflow created and we have a session created okay so i think we need to we will edit this the name should be uh should not be workflow it is basically the session only right let me change the name later on i can change the name maybe if i link session okay so i will link this So let me save this. This is valid, okay? So let me go back to your database and show you like we don't have any data in this old table, no data. So let me go to the workflow monitor. Let me right click and execute the workflow. Again, going to the monitor. So running so this is succeeded both are succeeded so let me just uh, show you the statistics so we have two likes 41000 records right two like 41098 records should be there in the new database table okay, let me go back We go to the database. Let me execute. So we have the records available here, right? Okay. So we can see so we have two likes for the one thousand zero nine eight records. Again this is the sum of all the records from three data sets okay so that is the union transmission that's a union transmission that we have uh, implemented in informatica power sender so with this uh, we are just coming to the end of the transmission activities so in the next video i would like to explain some features some advanced features in informatica so in one or two more sessions we will try to wind up this series thank you very much for watching this video thank you